Today we're going to be showing you the Clark Carpetmaster 112. The Carpetmaster 112 is a 12 inch enclosed bag vacuum cleaner. There are some very key points to this machine that I'm going to be pointing out for you, but one thing you need to know first before we get started is we spent three years in development of this unit and the reason we did that is, is we went out to find out what really the customer's needs were. We worked with building service contractors, we worked with healthcare facilities, we worked with universities to find out where their pain was in commercial vacuum cleaners. We feel like we've really accomplished that and let me just start out by showing you what we've done. Okay, let's start from the top down on the machine. The first thing you want to start out and see is that we have an ergonomically designed handle. This handle can be adjusted. You have the ability to press this button, adjust it up and or down. Another nice feature to this handle is that you have the ability to physically remove it. Why would we want to do that? Well, in some cases, you may have a situation where you have people that will want to use the unit that you don't want to use the unit. If you take the handle off, it's very difficult for anybody to vacuum. All you do to slide it back in is these pressure points, push it in, and lock it into place. If you want to adjust it down, again, you have the ability to do that. Okay, as we put the handle back on, you're going to notice that we have the cord coming out of the top of the unit. This is a problem area, and this is one of those areas of concern that we actually addressed. If you look at most commercial vacuum cleaners, they actually have the cord going right into the housing, and what happens is, is that that's a wear area. So we've eliminated that by this cord restraint, and the way that works, you marry the cord up and pull it through, and then lock it down into place. And you'll notice I can lift it up, and there's no pressure on this cord. I'll make that illustration even better. That's very, very important. Okay, moving down. As we move down to the machine, let's start talking about some of the other features that we've built into it. If you're familiar with most commercial vacuum cleaners today, onboard attachments are something that are lost and lost frequently. The reason for that, those onboard attachments could be attached to the back of the machine. In some cases, they could be attached to the front of the machine. What we have done is, is that we've enclosed them inside the actual pickup tube here, and we've given you a dusting tool, a place to store extra bags, as well as a crevice tool. And those are all fit very tightly into the back of the machine. Let's start talking about the actual filtration of the unit. This is a triple filter machine, and one of the most important things is the last filter, but let's start with the first. The first filter is going to be our bag. What's nice about this bag is that it's a quick release bag. You have the ability to slide it in and out very quickly. It also locks into place. Another nice feature, if you notice here, if there is not a bag in the machine, the lid will not shut. That's to protect the vacuum motor and obviously the machine itself, as illustrated. Moving down, we have our secondary filter. The secondary filter is located here in the bottom housing. This is to protect the actual vac motor. This is recommended to be replaced after five bags. The nice thing is, is that it comes with two in a pack of ten. Also included is a scent chip. Our third filter is our most important filter. This is our HEPA filter. It's not HEPA-like, it's an actual certified HEPA filter. All HEPA filters come standard with the machine. It's not an upcharge, it comes with the machine, and as you can see, they are all certified. Okay, now let's talk about the operation of the machine. On the top of the machine, we have our actual power switch. This is what turns it on. Just one click, and the actual vacuum is engaged. That engages the vacuum motor as well as the brush. Start at the bottom with our chevron style brush. The key to the chevron style brush is that it diverts all of the debris right to our point of intake. The brush is very easy to remove. You just pull it out, and obviously you have access to clean out anything that's inside. You also have the ability to clean the brush. This is very critical that you make sure you keep this brush clean. So we make it as easy as possible to make that happen. Now, another problem area that you have with vacuums is the 90 degree at the bottom uh, of the vacuum. So we've accomplished taking care of that problem, and here's how we do it. If you notice, we have the crevice tool here. Just pull the crevice tool off, pull that bend out, and we have free access to any obstruction that might be in the vacuum itself. 
On the Carpet Master 112, we have our height adjustment located on the top of the machine. On the top of the unit, you have a light indicator. That light indicator will turn red if there's any obstruction within the airflow of the vacuum itself. If it does go red, there can be two things. Actually, there could be more than two. It's either one, your bag is full, or two, you have an obstruction in the tube, or you have an obstruction in the brush itself. Let's talk about cord management. You have the ability to wrap it and hang it on the handle. We also have the ability to wrap it and hang it on the front of the machine. As you're carrying it away, this is how most people utilize it. Or you'll notice on the back that we have a cord wrap here that you can utilize as well. To lower the machine, you have a foot pedal here that you engage and you can lower it to the ground. You notice the low profile, you have the ability to get underneath desks as well as beds.